Back in 2017, the two best prep quarterbacks in America both played in the state of Georgia. Cartersville High School star Trevor Lawrence and Harrison High School's Justin Fields. Four years later, they entered the NFL as two very highly regarded rookies. Now with the Jacksonville Jaguars, Lawrence was the talk of Georgia high school football in 2017 as he chased and eventually broke Deshaun Watson's state records for career touchdowns and career passing yards. Uh, I haven't really been worried about the record all season. I think if I keep playing like I am, it'll happen. It's taking a lot of hard work to get to where I'm at, so I'm excited about that, but it's just a record. So, I mean, I'm more, I'm more worried about us winning all these games. With a six foot, six inch frame, Lawrence has ideal size for the position and he's dreamed of being a QB for as long as he can remember. I've been playing for a while. I've always wanted to be a quarterback. That's what I always worked on and did when I was a little kid. And so I've been playing since I was seven, I think. I've been playing quarterback since then. Lawrence will now be the face of the franchise for the Jaguars and the cornerstone for new head coach Urban Meyer to build around. Fields, meanwhile, isn't officially the starter just yet in Chicago, but Bears fans hope that they have their new franchise quarterback. In his days at Harrison High, Field saw a rapid rise in his recruiting rankings between the beginning of his junior season and the beginning of his senior season. After he won the MVP at the prestigious Elite 11 camp in 2017, Fields was suddenly in the discussion as the top player in his class. The whole process is unbelievable because a little over a year ago, uh, uh, Justin didn't have one single offer. We had no idea that he would be such a highly recruited um, football player, you know, we were just kind of wondering, well, you know, is he good enough to play D1 football? I feel like it's just seeing the hard work pay off, you know. Uh, I felt like uh, I've always been at that level, but I, I just kind of got, you know, uh, slept on, so to say. But uh, it's it's nice to know that uh, people are actually realizing the hard work I put in and um, how good I am. He's a 300 bencher, you know, he's like a 295 power clean, 400 and some squat. So, you don't get those numbers without working hard. I feel like I've improved a lot, you know, just in the field and uh, just at camps and just uh, my, my overall athleticism. I got faster, stronger, and uh, my, my arms probably gotten better. And I've also gotten a little bit more accurate, so I feel like I improved. I think the biggest thing with Justin is, is, and I always go back to how intelligent he is. Because he's so intelligent, he can grasp what we're doing very quickly. Um, and he does a really good job of making the reads, and he's really picked it up and done a good job. Ever since high school, Justin has drawn comparisons to Cam Newton because of his powerful frame, his strong arm, and his mobility. The comparisons also make sense because Newton has been a mentor to Fields. Justin used to play for Newton's seven-on-seven -seven team. Cam Newton is, is, is a big guy of mine. I also play on his uh, seven-on-seven team, so I, I, I get to work with him uh, weekly, so it's, it's definitely great work, working with him. And, and if I need to call him, he'll, he'll answer the phone, so, so it's definitely great having that relationship with him. Cam is transparent with you know the mistakes that he may have made uh, when he was young to try to keep the boys on his seven-on-seven -seven team from doing the same thing. And Just, just that the road's not going to be easy, you know, how we went to Florida and had to uh, go to JUCO and then transfer to uh, Auburn, so just that the road's hard, but uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it. Justin uh, is a big fan of Cam. He wears number one, uh, probably because of Cam, and uh, you know he's not starstruck anymore uh, by Cam. I mean, Cam's his coach, and he's back there calling every play. And uh, he's an NFL quarterback who's MVP. That's teaching you know my high school kid how to read. High school defenses. Also an outstanding baseball prospect in high school, Justin zeroed in on football in 2018, and it's obviously been a good decision for him. My long-term dreams are just to be successful and just really just be the best quarterback I, I can be. I, I don't want to say when football's over, I, I, I don't want to be able to have to say, dang, I could have done this or, or I could have done that. But so, so I just want to leave it all out there. Longtime NFL fans will see a familiar name playing defensive back in Denver. Patrick Sertan II enters the league after an outstanding career at Alabama. His father, Patrick Sertan Sr., who was also his high school coach, spent 11 years in the NFL. During the younger Sertan's prep days at American Heritage High School in Florida, there was a feeling that he was well on his way to being an NFL player. I'm a confident football player, you know, I bring a lot of attributes to the team, you know, I got speed, love, technique, physical, and I love to compete. Just playmaking ability. He can shut his side of the field down and tremendous athlete, great ball skills, just, just an all around complete athlete, but uh, also a good person, a leader and uh, someone who's going to do the right thing and never throw his teammates under the bus, going to have his teammates back and he wants to, his teammates' success as, as much as he wants his own. 
As a child, the younger Shatan got to spend a lot of time hanging around NFL players as his dad played for the Dolphins and Kansas City Chiefs. It was only natural for young Patrick to fall in love with football. It was great just to meet some of the professional athletes like Ricky Williams, Jason Taylor, Sam Madison, Jamal Charles and them. I looked up to them, so you know, it was great to meet them. You know, I put a ball in, in, in his hand, you know, at an early age and he fell in love. I, I didn't push him towards it because he, he was a pretty good basketball player, you know, when he was younger too. He ran track, you know, did it all, but it's just something about football he gravitated to and uh, he loved it and you can see it. He, he knows everything about the game, both offense and the, he played offense, you know, when he was at an early age and he was pretty good then, but I always knew he was going to be a defensive player because, you know, his instincts, you know, at the cornerback position. He has elite size for a corner, but it's his instincts as a defensive back that truly make him an outstanding prospect. I will hope he, he get him from me, but he didn't get his size and his, his, his speed and athleticism from me. He's, he's way, you know, further along than I was at the same exact age and all. You know, like I told him, the sky's the limit, and, and with God's blessings, you know, he's going to get everything he earned. Like I always tell him, there's, there's no substitute for the hard work. You got to be a smart football player out there, you know. Football's not all about talent, it's about being smart, too. If he keeps his head on the right path, and like I said, God willing, he's able to stay healthy and everything, you know, goes right, he'll fulfill his, his dream of playing on the next level because... He has that kind of skill. While his father has an impressive list of accomplishments in football, it's entirely possible that Patrick Sertan Jr. could take the family name to new heights in the future. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.